box as you Hi guys, welcome to another PKTV and this is the OWC upgrade kit for the MacBook Pro Retina. 2012 version. This works for the 15 inch and the 13 inch. So the version we have today is the 480 gigabyte SSD upgrade. As you can see this is the OWC version so it's a lot faster than the stock. We also have the Torx screws for screwdrivers for the actual particularly the MacBook Pro screws that we have to get out. We also have a sponger to actually disconnect a few wires and also we have the external USB 3.0 enclosure for the old 256 gigabyte SSD that I'm removing. So this is a pretty awesome drive and you'll see later on in the video how fast this truly is this drive enclosure but um, without further ado let's um, take this 480 gig out and copy the data over so what I'm going to do is actually clone the actual drive that's currently in the MacBook Air which will be the easiest way to do this rather than going through Time Machine and it will also be the fastest way to do this so let's take it out of the box. Right, so it's in its static bag, as you can see right there. So let's put this over here. There it is in all its goodness. So let's take it off the OWC sticker. And take a look. Okay. Right. Yeah, I had to get out, but I'm almost there. Right, here we go. So let's take her out of the anti-static bag and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put it in the OVA in the actual USB 3.0 enclosure so here it is in here so it comes in this lovely bag as you can see right there and plus we also get the screws to actually open it they're all Torx 5's and the sticker to put it back on to cover up the screws as well as a USB 3.0 cable so let's take a look. As you'll see about this one, it's made pretty much of the same aluminium unibody design that you'll get on any MacBook. As you can see, it's very flush. It actually matches all of your um, MacBook Pro in all its goodness. So it is actually a very stylish and very good looking enclosure and it works specifically just with the 2012 MacBook Pro SSDs. So yes, these are proprietary SSDs. You will not these will not work with the 2013 model as it uses PCIe flash storage. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in the OWC 480 gigabyte drive first so I can clone the drive that's currently in the MacBook Pro. So there it is, out of the enclosure, I mean out of the static bag, 480 gigs of goodness, as you can see at the back there, OWC Otherworld Computing, let's put her in. So it's really easy to put the SSD in, you see the notches and you push in and you line it up with the screw hole. It's very simple, it's just one T, uh, one Torx screwdriver and as you can see we're copying the data over it's really really fast as you can see right there it's already copied about nine gigabytes so the process is just going to run and uh, yes we're finished now 
done in 40 minutes 232 gigabytes that's really really fast I'll tell you that that's over USB 3.0 and that's SSD to SSD so I can tell you this that's freaking fast very good speeds on there as you can see with the closure as well as USB 3 performance so I would say it was maxing out USB 3.0 very much so so let's take a look at installing it now so now that we've formatted the drive we'll take out the screwdrivers now so that we need we need these two Torx, Torx 5 uh, screwdrivers as you can see right there so what I'm going to do now is take out the freshly cloned 480 gigabyte SSD and I'm going to stick it into the MacBook Pro itself right at so with this you have to know that all the screws are all different they're all different sizes so the first four at the back and then we've got the two at the middle and then the four at the bottom you have to be very careful with which screw goes and which or they won't actually fit so best advice you could get if you're trying this be very careful put it all on a four piece of paper this will help you organize those screws as you how you need them and um, get everything organized so let's take out these screws and get started so the first thing we need is the Torx 5 ones and so this is what we're going to do we're going to use it right now just get that out here we go let's take these screws out so once we do have these screws out we'll be able to get the cover off and um, we'll show you the internals of the MacBook Pro Retina 2012 model Okay, I'm probably not going to go through every single screw here, but I'm going through the majority of them to show you exactly how to get through all this. Now, you may want to ask, why would I be upgrading the hard drive? Because it came stock with 256 gigabytes. And not only that, the actual OWC drive is a lot faster as well as got more storage so what I'm going to do is pretty much get the best of both worlds and 480 gigs in a laptop is pretty good that's all I'm gonna say um, so yeah obviously when I got this MacBook Pro I pretty much didn't want to go the custom route and I bought it as is and obviously at the time in 2012 they didn't have a two thousand they didn't have a 512 gigabyte model so yeah basically I had to stick with getting the best uh, that I could get out of the stock models but nonetheless I thought I could actually deal with 256 gigabytes worth of storage but then I realized hey I probably need a bit more storage because yeah 256 is a little bit stretching anyway we're just getting the final screws off now shouldn't be too long okay so the process is a pretty tedious process but um, once you get through everything it's pretty much all good there we have it so what we're going to do is now get the cover off now that we have all those screws off and we're going to also use the secondary screwdriver which will help us get the screw off the actual SSD within the actual unit itself but first of all we need to get the cover off like so there we go. just comes off like so and this is the internals of the MacBook Pro Retina. As you can see right there, we've just got the fans, we've got the battery, and we've got the RAM at the back there, and we've got the SSD 
as well on the far left in the center. So what I'm going to do is take the OWC drive and pretty much put it straight in. I don't need to format it, I don't need to do anything because I've cloned the drive. So here's the actual 256 drive itself. <coughs> and you see that right there, it's a Samsung drive. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to take the T5 screw out. That's holding this one in. And pretty much all you have to do now is take out the physical drive. Now the easiest way to do that is to lift and pull out. Now you should probably actually disconnect the battery. I know I didn't do it in this one, but it is a safety precaution that you should actually do it, even though I'm clearly not doing that. It actually will still work, but you do run the risk of many things that could actually go wrong with your system. So it's actually better that you actually do take out, unplug the battery before you actually attempt this. That's my disclaimer in case anyone decides to do this and doesn't disconnect the battery like I've done. But as you can see, I'm just going to put this right in like I did the other one. It's pretty simple. You just got to wiggle it in there without a little bit of force, but not much. Don't really jam it in there. You just, um, just slowly stick it into the slot and you should be fine. I'm having a little trouble because the first time I actually pushed it in, but give me a sec. There we go. Once you've got it lined up and you wiggle it in, it'll just go in real simple. Then the last thing we have to do is once it's secure, we just put it down. The one Torx 5 screw to secure it in place. like so and we're done so all we have to do now is actually obviously hook up the battery if you disconnected it and put the cover right back on cool so now what we're going to do is actually put all the screws back in but once we secure, it's actually a, bit, a little bit difficult sometimes to get that cover on, but most of the time it's actually pretty good. Awesome. Cool. Alright. Now, let's put in all those screws. Now I'm not going to go through every screw like I did previously, but I will actually put in, you know, a few screws in there. Basically, you need to put in all the screws and if you had them all lined up on an A4 piece of paper you should be fine you shouldn't have any issues it's a pretty straightforward process once you've got the screws in the right places it just goes all together the entire process is actually really really simple to be honest uh, don't be s pretty much scared on some of the ways of doing things the only difficult part probably would be just that anyway let's power it on and see what happens Okay, you got to give it a minute. It will actually boot up a second. Just give it a few minutes. It will be a quite long boot the first time. But once you get past the first boot, it should be okay. And don't be afraid by the white screen. It will actually boot up shortly. You just got to give it a minute. There we go. There's the Apple symbol. It's found the operating system. Now when you go into the OS, you have to make sure you set the drive to Mac OS again in of course startup disk once you've done that everything runs smoothly it doesn't try to look for another disk so basically that's all you have to do um, it's a pretty sweet upgrade and in the future I'll do some serious speed tests but other than that that's how we put the OWC kit 
and upgrade your complete MacBook Pro.